Hello and welcome to St Albans TV. I am Rowena Sinelli and with me tonight I have captain of the St Albans Saints, Ryan McGuffey. Now Ryan, it was an unfortunate loss for the boys on Monday night. What have you guys taken from the game? Uh, well, obviously you can't win them all and through the course of the season you're going to lose a couple of games. So I think you've just got to take that one in the chin and move on to the next game. And obviously we're playing the uh, this Sunday so we've got to move on to that. Now, what can we expect from them, considering they have a few players away from in with injury and also due to suspension? Well, they're building play on a synthetic surface, so they, they tend to knock the ball about quite well and they're good in possession. They get the ball wide, kind of similar to the way we play, uh, get the ball in the box, so we kind of know the way they play. It's just a matter of setting up to defend against that. And so what will be your main focus for Sunday to prepare? Uh, main focus is... To start the game well, I think in this league, a lot of the teams that get the, the first goal go on to win the game. Uh, I think if we can get the first goal and take the game from there, uh, but just look forward to Sunday and hopefully we can get a win. The main thing is to try and get a win. Moving on to a few light-hearted questions. Number one, if you were stranded on a desert island, who would be with you? President Ivan Maric, coach Joe Kovakovic, or operations manager Jason Sherry and why? Who would be with me? Mm -hmm. Uh, probably Jason actually, uh, he phones me about three or four times a week, <laughs> so he's the one I probably speak to the most. Now if you could choose to play with Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi, who would it be and why? Uh, Lionel, Messi. Lionel Messi, I think he's probably my favourite player in the world. So. Now who bends the ball better, David Beckham, Anthony Boris or from Monday night Trent Watterson? Uh, Probably Trent Watson actually. He's got a good free kick on him. <laughs> <laughs> now, if a player bites you in a match like Luis Suarez has done in the past, what would you do? Would you A, bite them back, B, fall to the floor, wail, and hope the referee gives him a red, red card like Giorgio Chiellini, give him a Zinedine Zidane-esque head bite, or do nothing? Uh, I don't know. I think people that know me are probably dive to the floor and no, I'm joking. I'd probably do nothing, <laughs> to be honest. Get yeah. a mark myself. Now, who's the better goalkeeper, Stuart Webster or Ike Casillas? Is that a serious question? <laughs> Stuart Webster. He's got a finger that oh, only he could touch. It was that way. <laughs> who's the loudest player on the pitch? Oh, that's probably me. Uh, apart from me, by the devil. Now, which Dynamo player do you think could most likely play in the A League? Could most likely play in the league or well. Uh, I think there's a few with potential. Uh, I think Ante Koju would be focused and, and obviously it's a, a serious question, so I'm answering it serious. I think he focused and uh, adapted his way to training and done well. I think he's got potential to uh, play in the league. I think Ross Harvey's got the potential to play in the league as well. He's still a young lad. Uh, that's probably it. Ryan McGuffey, thank you very much and good luck for Sunday. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much.